very vibrant from um, birth. He was mellow, um, smiling, always happy. Rylan Joseph was only four months old when he was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder. But just days after a risky bone marrow transplant and with a weakened immune system, Rylan took an unexpected turn. Kelly and I talked to one of the doctors. I asked her, is he going to die? <laughs> she said yes. Rylan died on May 16th, 2013. But he didn't die from the transplant or his rare genetic disorder. He died from Legionnaire's disease he contracted in his own hospital room, most likely from inhaling microscopic water droplets released in the shower. We know that after Ryland died, uh, they swabbed with a cotton swab the inside of the shower head in his own room, and they found Legionella in the, the shower head. Uh, I mean, that's clear evidence. The Legionella bacteria thrives in warm water environments like cooling towers and large plumbing systems. But the hospital in San Francisco hadn't tested for it. I was angry like I've never been angry in my life. I mean, had they tested for it, my son might still be here. When I was told that this is what he, Ryland, ultimately died from, I didn't know what that was. And so it was a shock to me. And I think um, that people need to be aware of what, what it is and that it's there and that it's lurking and it's in, it's in, it's in the hospitals. Benioff Children's Hospital tells NBC News it took immediate steps after Ryland's death, including point-of-use filters in the rooms of at-risk patients, adding tankless water heaters where possible, and adding disinfectant injection points to the water system. But it's not just hospitals. In the last year, Legionella has been discovered in veterans' homes, prisons, even schools. So this is the first step in determining whether Legionella bacteria are in the water samples. Dr. Janet Stout is one of the world's top Legionella experts. Her Pittsburgh lab has been testing thousands of water samples from buildings in New York. Tests ordered by the city after 12 people died in a Legionnaire's outbreak that started in this Bronx hotel. So it seems to have kind of like a, a, almost an ice look to it, a, a rough edge around it. And that's the classic appearance of Legionella. 30% of the samples tested positive for Legionella. Dr. Stout says the country doesn't take the threat seriously enough. If you had told me 30 plus years ago, we'd be sitting here talking about all these outbreaks and why there isn't more being done for prevention, I would have been amazed. You know, there's no reason for this. There's absolutely no reason for it. It's totally preventable. Her research shows each year roughly 30,000 people contract Legionnaire's disease in the U.S. and 6,000 die especially in hospitals where patients with weakened immune systems are at risk. How is it possible that Legionnaires is so common in the nation's hospitals? There are people in public health that are afraid to tell people that this bacteria survives water treatments in our water systems. The thing we hear about is we don't want to start panic, we don't want to alarm people unnecessarily. So what happens is inaction. The hospitals don't test their water because the Center for Disease Control and Prevention says wait until there are cases before you go looking for the source. And we think that's backwards. You want the CDC to be more proactive rather than reactive on this issue. Yes, the way to save lives is to be proactive, not wait until cases occur. Look for Legionella in the water now, assess the risk, you know, control the risk because we have tools to do that, and then people don't get sick and die. There are no federal laws requiring regular testing for Legionella until a patient is actually diagnosed with the disease. But at UPMC Mercy Hospital in Pittsburgh, they're not waiting. On a warm day, these cooling towers process hundreds of thousands of gallons every hour just to keep the patients in the hospital below cool. Inside UPMC, a new treatment system constantly monitors and disinfects the hospital's water. It's that simple, which is why the Joseph family is on a mission to require water testing in every hospital across the country. Uh, I just hope that people are informed and know about this potentially deadly disease. So no other family loses a loved one to Legionnaires. Tom Costello, NBC News, Pittsburgh.